We don't know how well this is going to work. And, and a lot of last week was about if and when. Some teachers didn't just prepare to go back to class on Monday. They got ready for online learning in case a sudden closure is announced within days. At the same time, an education critic says teachers have been abandoned, left to deal with the risk of the Omicron variant on their own. Like many BC schools, Lord Strathcona Elementary School is welcoming back more students for in-person classes after a delayed return so schools could prepare. And it's a relief for some. It's great to be uh, to getting some kind of regular routine and, uh, and to have the kids back. And uh, I know that they've taken some extra time to implement some new procedures and whatnot. So. Annie Ohana rearranged desks at her L.A. Matheson secondary class in Surrey, but doesn't expect to be there for long. A lot of us had to change quite a bit of our curriculum in the sense of how we deliver it uh, and being ready kind of on the spot to go online, right? Or what they're ca calling, um, you know, closures, right? Functional closures. So that that's not always easy to do. Um, we also lost a week of instruction. She says what the province calls enhanced measures includes a lot of precautions school staff have already been doing. But the transmission is so high. That's new. So will these enhanced measures really work to, to keep those uh, that transmission down? That's really a question that we're going to find out. Schools will be open with reinforced safety measures in place. The minister said there were going to be enhancements. If you talk to any teachers, there's no enhancements. They haven't had access to their boosters on a priority basis, as they probably should have had going in. Former Superintendent Doug Player is among critics who also want the province to hand out N95 masks to staff. The province's plan does include three-layer mask requirements, staggered start and break times, and new practices to stop crowding in common areas. What the plan doesn't include is exposure notices unless there are big dips in attendance. And BC is warning parents to be ready for sudden closures. The Surrey School District says a functional closure should only last 7 to 10 days. Ohana, who is also waiting to get a booster, hopes there's a quick response to outbreaks. We should not be here if people are getting sick. That's my bottom line. Dr. Bonnie Henry said last week schools need to stay open for the emotional, physical and intellectual well-being of children. In Vancouver, Crystal Ladaris, City News.